on a snowing day. When it snows, you can have fun outside. Put on your favorite winter clothes and go outside. You might want to get some coffee or hot cocoa before you do that. You are lucky because it's snowing today. What do you like to do most in your free time? I like to spend my free time reading, writing, or playing sports. I enjoy reading because that's how I learned to read when I was younger. I also enjoy playing sports because it's a good way to be active and work out. Reading a book in a cafe. I'm happiest when I'm reading a book in a cafe. The serene atmosphere, the aroma of coffee beans and fresh baked goods nearby, all contribute to my happiness while reading an engaging novel. What about you? Do you prefer your books at home or in cafes? My hobby. I am very interested in music. I like to go to concerts and make playlists for my friends. I also like art, but I'm not very good at it. My favorite art is drawing portraits of people with markers. My other hobby is reading. I love to read books that are written about different cultures and lifestyles around the world. Going to a barbecue. Tomorrow, I'm going to a barbecue with friends. And I'm really excited because they always have the best food. It's always so good and it's so much fun to hang out with them after we eat together. It is impossible for me not to get hungry when I think about all their great dishes. I can't wait for tomorrow. Why do we need English? English is a language that people speak in many countries. You can use it to talk with people from all around the world. English is worth learning because it's important in today's world and you can get many opportunities if you speak and write well. My morning routine. I start the day with a cup of coffee while reading the news. I then exercise for an hour and check my email. I always make sure to exercise, read the news, and check my email before starting work. I love chocolate donuts. I love chocolate donuts. The way they melt in your mouth and fill you with joy and happiness is the best feeling ever. If you want to eat a chocolate donut, come find me at my favorite bakery, Mary's Donuts. We have all kinds of flavors, from strawberry to Boston cream pie. You'll never be bored again when we give you an endless selection of delicious pastries that will make any sweet tooth happy. My favorite place. My favorite place is the library. It is the perfect place to get lost in a book and get away from reality. The library is a quiet, serene place that takes me away from the busy workday. I am able to focus on my reading and not have any distraction from my phone or other people. What haircut do you prefer? I would prefer a haircut that is not too short, but also not long. Something around the collarbone level would be perfect for me. I love hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. It's so soothing and always manages to cheer me up 
and get my mood back to normal. I don't know what it is about hot chocolate that just makes me feel so happy, but it just does. I usually drink it when I'm feeling down or when I need a little pick-me-up, but there are other times when I drink it too. For example, if someone brings me a cup of hot chocolate, I'll drink it because they obviously were thinking of me and wanted to make sure that I'm feeling better. My first trip abroad. Last year, I went abroad. It was my first time. I was very excited and wanted to explore the place. When we landed, it felt like we were in an unfamiliar place. But it didn't take long before I got used to the new place and found food for lunch, then explored some more. There were many locals that walked with me until it got dark outside. As soon as I found a hotel that had vacancies, I checked in for the night and then went out again on foot. Going out to eat. I love going out to eat. There is nothing I enjoy more than sitting down at a restaurant after a long day of work, ordering something delicious, and taking my time to enjoy it. The food tastes that much better when it's not the same thing you've eaten for lunch and dinner. Plus, I love the social aspect of dining out. It's nice to spend time with friends, get to know people I don't know, or get to know people better. But it's not always easy to find the best restaurant to go to. I love sushi. I absolutely love sushi. It's my favorite food, and one of the best things about it is that there are so many different types of rolls to choose from. My favorites are California rolls with avocado or Philadelphia roll. What do you think? Do you have a favorite type of sushi roll? Self-introduction I'm a senior year student at the University of Houston, majoring in English. I'm originally from Texas, but I've lived in Houston for the past two years. I love to play tennis and spend time with my family. I won the regional tennis tournament. I'm so happy to win this regional tennis tournament, but my coach is the one who deserves credit. My coach never gave up on me and always believed in me when others didn't. He's been with me for over 10 years now and has helped teach not only how to play tennis better, but also about life lessons that have guided my personal growth. Thank you, coach. What to do on a cold morning. Start your day with a warm drink. Take a hot bath or shower after work to relieve sore muscles and joints from the cold air. Avoid smoking cigarettes before going outside because it will only make you colder. Dress in layers for warmth and stay dry by wearing rain gear if it is raining out. I love pancakes. I love pancakes because they are so delicious. They go great with syrup, butter, and whipped cream. I like chocolate chip pancakes the best, but blueberries are also really good. There are many types of pancakes that people enjoy around the world. French crepes are thin pancakes that are made with milk or water and baked in an oven. Sometimes they're served filled with fruit or sweetened whipped cream for dessert, too. Pancakes can be served with toppings like yogurt, honey, and granulated sugar on top to make them a little more special. The pancakes that I love best are the ones that my grandma makes. Have you ever been to Australia before?
I've just returned from an amazing trip to Australia, and I want to share some of the things that made it so special. One thing you might not know is that in Australia, they drive on the left side of the road. It was really interesting getting used to this when renting a car. But there were also lots of other great experiences, like seeing koalas, riding camels at sunset, visiting Ayers Rock, which is one of my favorites, and meeting kangaroos up close. I love gardening. I have always loved gardening. It is one of the things that I enjoy doing most in my free time. Gardening is very important to me because it is an excellent way for me to switch off from technology and get back to nature. Some people believe that gardening can be done by anyone, but I am not so sure about this. Gardening does require a lot of knowledge, both about plants and soil types. You also need a certain amount of skill when it comes to digging holes and planting seedlings. If you are not doing these things correctly, then your garden may not grow well, or worse still, it may turn out looking like a mess. Where would you like to travel next? There are many places in this world that I would love to travel to. But if I had to pick one, it would have to be New Zealand. I'm really looking forward to visiting New Zealand because it seems like a very interesting place. I would love the chance to see what it's all about and get a better sense of what life is like for the people living there. Memories of my father. I remember watching my father playing with me in the park when I was little. He would take me on his shoulders and then toss me into the air so that I could fly like a bird. Then he would catch me, put me back on his shoulders, and we would go to get ice cream. One time, I fell asleep on my father's shoulder. I woke up later, and he was still carrying me through the park. Are you awake? he asked. Of course not, I said sleepily. You're only dreaming of me waking up. Dad laughed at this joke for a long time afterwards. I thought it was wonderful that he could laugh like that. My father taught me to dream big. He always told me I could be anything I wanted to be, even an astronaut or a movie star. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, Dad said. If you want to do something, just be the best at it that you can be. I remember my father on cold winter days. He would come home from work, and he would take off his coat, but keep his scarf on inside the house. Then he would fix me hot chocolate in a big mug, so big I could barely hold it with two hands, and so hot it would burn my fingers when I carried it to the table. What's Mama doing? I would ask. She's making dinner tonight, Dad would say, pointing his chin toward the kitchen and smiling. Then we would sit at the dinner table and talk about our days while we finished our hot chocolates. When I was younger, my father used to come into my room at night and read me a story while I fell asleep. Then one day, when I was in the third grade, he stopped coming into my room at night anymore. He said that maybe it wasn't such a good idea for us to spend time together after I fell asleep 
because it might make me dependent on him. This didn't really make sense to me, but I was old enough to understand that adults don't always know what's best. A few months later, Dad started coming into my room and watching me sleep for a few minutes before he left. It was really funny because I would pretend to be asleep so he would keep watching me. He'd never catch on. You're getting pretty good at that, he said once, smiling his big smile with dimples in his cheeks.